Those around newly elected U.S. President Donald Trump should explain to him a simple truth. As the new leader of the United States, he is obliged to immediately present a plan to end the war in Ukraine, writes Foreign Policy. The publication writes that Trump's plan should not include concessions on territories that Russia seized as a result of the war. It is also undesirable to rely on the promises of Russian ruler Vladimir Putin, who often goes back on his words. Trump has previously suggested that Ukraine should have made concessions to Russia before the war began, arguing that even a worse deal would have been better than what we have now. He has also accused Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky of making a nasty little slander against him. Michael Bosyorkiv, a senior fellow at the Atlantic Council, notes, Russia took advantage of the political uncertainty in the US during the elections. Autocratic leaders like Putin take advantage of the West's weakness and indecisiveness, and the West has so far prevented Ukraine from striking at positions in Russia itself, giving Moscow a strategic advantage. Western allies, particularly the United States, have placed limits on their support for Ukraine, holding back certain weapons and resources. Reasons range from fatigue to a belief that the conflict will not spill over Ukraine's borders. There is a fear among experts that any territorial concessions to Ukraine will only escalate Putin's aggression, bringing Russia closer to NATO's borders and creating new threats to Europe. As Ruth Diamond, a professor at King's College London, points out a peace deal that leaves the Russian-occupied territories in Moscow's hands would allow Russia to strengthen its position and increase its military presence in Belarus, posing a potential threat to NATO's Baltic states. A stronger Russia could step up cyber attacks and interference in the internal affairs of European states and the United States. In an article for the Atlantic Council, Peter Dickinson wrote that countries that Russia considers historically part of itself such as Poland, the Baltic states and others could become potential targets to Kremlin aggression. Europe fears that a Russian victory will create even more challenges to the stability of the region. It is important to explain this to Trump so that he understands the importance of supporting Ukraine for US security. Despite the distance, borders are no longer a protection against global threats. While the conflict in Ukraine may seem far away to the American public, it has real implications for the security of the United States. It is not yet clear how seriously Trump takes the Ukrainian issue or whether he fully understands the threats. He has repeatedly called Putin a genius in the past, while also saying he has a good relationship with both Putin and Zelensky. As the publication notes, how much Trump understands what is at stake in Ukraine and how willing he is to support US allies remains questionable. So his team should convey the message to him. The United States needs a Ukrainian victory to maintain its own security and influence on the world stage. Pakistanis reacted largely with optimism to the election of Donald Trump as US president, as anticipation about who will be appointed as the special envoy for the region grows. Political analyst Zara Kuro said Pakistan could face trouble if Zalmay Khalilzad is chosen as the Afghanistan-Pakistan special envoy. One hears rumors that it might be Zalmay Khalilzad. If that is the case then he is very much a hawk on Pakistan, Kuro told the Associated Press. However, it is important to understand that Trump is fundamentally transactional. It's about what he can get from you at what price. If he gets what he wants he will be willing to do business with anyone in Pakistan," he added. Meanwhile, stock market analyst Gibran Sarfraz welcomed Trump's win as, his last tenure was good for Pakistan. We expect the relation to be further improved if he adopts a soft policy and provides a business-friendly environment," said Sarfraz. Local resident Kurshid Remini also expressed his delight in a Trump administration. It will have a positive impact on the whole world. Trump's win is a good omen, he said.
who is going to be the special envoy to the AFPAC region. I mean, one hears rumors that it might be Zalmay Khalilzad, and if that is the case, then he's very much a hawk on, on, on Pakistan. So that could spell uh, some trouble going forward. However, I think that it's important to understand, at least in my view, that Trump is fundamentally transactional. Uh, it's about what he can get from you at what price. So um, a lot of people here feel that, you know, he may not want to play ball with the current uh, political government. He may play hardball. I will uh, certainly accept that. That's his style. But I think that if he gets what he wants, he'll be willing to do business with anyone in Pakistan. I don't think that there's going to be any kind of an outsize impact. I mean, certainly, you know, as we saw with the last Trump administration, there is always a baseline increase in racism in the United States when someone like Trump wins. But, um, you know, as they say, a rising tide lifts all boats, right? So um, it's not, I don't think that the Pakistani community is going to be specifically targeted out, uh, uh, by Trump supporters or, or in, in that case. But of course, if there's a general rise in racism, then that affects all uh, ethnic, linguistic uh, and racial minorities in the United States. ट्रम्प की जो अभी मोमेंट शुरू हुई है उसको पाकिस्तान के सभी हलकों ने और चाहे वो सियासी हलके हैं सफारती हलके हैं और तमाम ही लोगों ने उनकी आमद उनकी नोमतखीब होने पर सेलेक्ट होने पर खैर मकदम किया है और बड़ी अच्छी निगाह से देखा है तो मैं समझता हूँ इसके मुस्तबिल में भी बड़े अच्छे असरा मरतब होंगे और पूरी दुनिया में एक मस्बत मैसेज है कि ट्रम्प का आना खुशाइन है एशिया के लिए खासतौर पर जो पॉलिसी बनाएंगे अगर सॉफ्ट पॉलिसी बनाएंगे तो पाकिस्तान और यूएस के ताल्लुक भी बेहतर होंगे और मज़ीद आने वाले दिनों में जो है जो लास्ट लास्ट जो टेंडोर था इनका वो भी अच्छा गुजरा था अब हम एक्सपेक्ट करते हैं कि पाकिस्तान और यूएस के ताल्लुक मज़ीद बेहतर हो सकते हैं अगर ये जो जो उनकी पॉलिसी है एशियन पर ख़ास तौर पर इनको सॉफ्ट करते हैं और जो बिज़नेस फ्रेंडली इन्वायरमेंट प्रोवाइड करते हैं 